All right, so today we have a review of the Atheron 28-foot Parcel drop frame trailer in 1 to 87 scale. Um, I do believe that these are still available from Atheron at the time of this video. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the review. Um, so this is um, before UPS started putting the Shield logo right here on the trailer. Um, so now you just it just says United Parcel Service. There's no Shield or anything. Um, and oddly enough, uh, I do work for UPS, and oddly enough, we still actually run some trailers that say United Parcel Service. They don't have the UPS logo here, uh, and you can generally tell that they're older. Um, and we do also, at the building I work at, run drop frame trailers as well. Um, but yeah, so you have a nice UPS decal right there, uh, and you do have a nice number right there. Um, there's, I believe, six in the set, uh, and I believe you can still find all six today. Uh, and then here's the drop frame part. Um, so when you would get in the trailer, there would be um, something to cover your wheel while, and then it would drop down into this part, and there'd be rollers in there, and then it would pop back up uh, over your fifth wheel. Um, you could shove bags uh, or bulk under there, uh, and then it has fold down parts, or part of the wall will fold down so that you could cover that up and stack more stuff on top. Um, the wheels are nice on the model. You do have a nice light here, a simulated light there. You have a nice simulated light there. Uh, coming to the back, um, this is what I like the most that Atherin does. I wish um, some of the other manufacturers that make, you know, UPS and FedEx stuff would do this. They would put the uh, open up door that goes into the trailer instead of the ones that open sideways. Um, you do have some nice bumpers right here. That's for when you're backing up. Uh, you don't damage the trailer. Those will hit the um, back of the dock first. Uh, and you do have a nice, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but you do have a nice tiny little hitch right there for a dolly or something. Because you can make a train with these trailers. Uh, and then you do have some nice simulated lights right here and right here. And even the latch for the trailer door is simulated very nicely. And then you do have the trailer number right there. Uh, coming to this side, it is the same as the other side. And then there's the front. You have points where your air connection would be. Um, and then you have your number again, and then I'm not quite sure what this is. I believe it's the height of the trailer. Um, I know one thing on most 28-foot trailers that we have, um, I wish that Ather would have put, uh, it says um, hub pilot wheels only uh, right here. Um, I just feel like that would have been a nice addition to have, but then again, we don't really run too many of these drop frame trailers. Um, so, I haven't really fully seen the outside of one. I've only unloaded them. I've never actually loaded one or seen one be backed up before. Um, and here's the underside of the trailer. Very simple. Uh, you have all your ribs supporting and everything. And then the one thing I do actually like about this uh, is Atherin does provide you with um, jacks, different jack heights. They provide you with two jacks. Uh, the ones I have here. And then they also provide you with a little bit of a shorter one. So if you were to hook it up to a truck or something, um, your jacks would be up in the stored position, but overall, it's a great piece to have, um, if you have a UPS building, or if you want to stack it on a train, because UPS does transport trucks by train, um, so overall, it's a nice piece, I would, uh, I would recommend picking one up if you in need of some UPS apparel, and then here it is with the yard tractor, um, this is what I like, I like the most, is when you raise the fifth wheel up, and you see... Um, just you see it being pulled by the yard tractor. I like seeing that a lot of, at work. Um, but overall, it's a great, nice little trailer to own. So uh, that's just kind of about it for this review. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Both links will be in the description. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And that's about it for this review. So as always, stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.